Hello, hello. I'm really happy to be here with you today sharing tip 12 from Aletha Salter's book, Raising Drug-Free Kids, How to Raise Drug-Free Kids. Uh, I am T, your joyful parent guide and harmonizer. And yesterday we took a look at tip 11 was live your values. And I love the way she flowed right into today's tip 12, which is take care of your body. So to me, those two, you know, there's a relationship there, right? Live your values. Now, I don't know about you, but when I start thinking about my values, I start thinking about, you know, more, I don't know, more lofty, some what more energetic, spiritual kinds of things rather than like the the more practical physical so this is like a reminder like you know you're not going to get to enjoy and do all of that yummy stuff if you're not healthy enough to do it so take care of your body so there are three um three sub points in this tip and i'm going to go through them i'm going to tell you what those are and then i have a couple of uh, stories to tell you so you know, one is exercise, one is around food, um, and then the other is around medication. So I'm going to go uh, back. I don't, I don't really have too much else to add around medication. She does say, you know, it's a great idea if your kids are with you at the doctors that they hear you asking, or even the pharmacy, they hear you asking the doctor or pharmacist about what are the possible side effects of this or what might be some interactions because I'm also taking this supplement or because I have this other condition, whatever. Um, so that's really nice just to you know embody that for yourself and let that be something that your children are exposed to. Um, so I love that. So around um, exercise, okay? Uh, um, it's a really pretty cool thing that she, uh, that she says in here around endorphins. If you do um, vigorous exercise, and if you do it for a length of time, uh, depending on what the exercise is, I think the length of time changes, but if you do it for a length of time, your body starts to release endorphins, and those are some really special, awesome, uh, uh, hormones slash neurochemicals um, that your body releases and they are nature's tranquilizers and painkillers so I I know that firsthand because I used to be a very avid runner so like I ran a marathon once and I, I ran cross country for years and so I know that there is like it's a real thing that runners high is a real thing and so there are healthy ways to stimulate your body to create those, you know, those fun uh, neurochemicals that are either like the, I can't remember which is all which, but the serotonin, the oxytocin, the endorphins, the dopamines, there are healthy ways to um, get your body to produce those as opposed to, um, you know, illegal substances. So what else? Oh, around attention that you uh, pay to what you put in your body. I just have a funny, she talks about, you know, uh, when you go to the grocery store, reading labels and what, like letting your kids know that you're paying attention to what you're buying and what you're making and, and all of that good stuff, the list of ingredients. So I love all that. I just wanted to offer a like, kind of a funny story from my own experience. This was like decades ago. My, uh, my, one of my grandmothers, my, oh, my grandmothers were amazing, but one of my grandmothers was, you know, she, you know, uh, had grew up sort of, um, post depression and through the depression actually. So you would might expect a lady like that to be holding to old-fashioned ideals and that wasn't necessarily the case with my grandma though at least not as far as um, food and contraptions I remember she was so excited to get a microwave when I was really little when they first came out she was super excited and then she even like 
baked a cake in a in the microwave and I remember being like ew <laughs> but she really she loved it and I, I like I loved her joy so that's the piece that I attached on to but I also like for myself you know, when I started to read about some of the effects of microwaves and what have you, you know, I went off the other way. Um, I I don't buy cookies. I make cookies. I don't even own a microwave. Haven't had a functioning microwave for a long time. So, what you do isn't necessarily what your kids are going to do. It will affect them but you don't know how it will affect them. And I, that's the only reason why I told that story. I don't tell that story to like, you know, judge around, you know, store-bought cookies or microwave cakes or anything like that. I just tell that story to illustrate that there's not a one-to-one -one correlation. And so no matter what you do, like if you think you're messing up your kids, that's pretty, you, you know, there's a lot more uh, influences and your kids have their own minds. But if you narrate and if you share with your kids from your heart and you share like, you know, uh, you know, mommy just has a, a weakness for like, this is what I do, right? I have a weakness for potato chips. So, you know, instead of but you know eating just any kind there's like a certain kind that i look for and like it's kind of a joke in the house like yeah mom's all healthy over here but then she eats potato chips so it's not about perfection because that doesn't exist but just about you know taking care of your body in a way that's joyful for you if running doesn't do it for you maybe it's salsa dancing maybe it's um, I have a friend who, you know, took a pole dancing class, like, and that's like really hard stuff, but that was like super fun for her. And she really challenged her body and had a lot of fun with it. So that's, uh, you know, it's about being in our joy. So I look forward to like next time. So tomorrow's tip is tip 13, and we're going to turn a new page in the book. It's a new chapter. So stay tuned for that. And my invitation for you today is if you are not already in the, um, the free Facebook group community that I have for relational parents, my invitation is to join us because either tomorrow or Thursday, I'm going to be announcing a really cool master class that I'm going to be delivering in that group um, for the holidays. So, all right. Have a great rest of your day. Bye for now.